vegetables, household appliances, the works. But if I have to come for beef, I would only come here to the Johnson Market, the best beef in this country by far. The gentleman behind me is buying a nice rump which he's going to cut into cubes and he knows how much fat he wants in it. So that's how specific and that's how serious they are about when they buy their beef out here. And I'll tell you, it's fabulous. If you want to know anything about cooking steaks, just ask me. Life becomes just so easy when you have a local and a big time food enthusiast, Aslam, who's with me today. Hi, Aslam. Hey. Who's giving me the best insight all about this market because he picks and chooses what he eats from this market to his house. What do you recommend about this market to me? So first of all, I think uh, this is uh, one of the most iconic markets of Bangalore. Mm -hmm. I think from what I understand, it's from the early 1900s that you know this market was set up. And people that time and till today really came here to pick up uh, the best for the produce. Whether it is meat, it's the beef or mutton, yeah. fish, vegetables as you saw, even non-food products. <coughs> so you know it really came, it became a, like a outing on the weekend and every other day in the morning to, yeah. to do stuff. But as for me, I think this becomes a great place as a one-stop shop. This is Richmond town, it's like literally a, a couple of blocks away from the main MZ road. So it's a very central location. However. You know, because of the nature of it being central, there is an issue with bringing your own car here. So unless you come really early in the morning or maybe... Yeah, you can get parking You can then. get parking and sure. stuff. But I think it's advisable uh, to maybe come with someone and then hop off and really explore the market. So as you know, people who are very, very passionate about what they eat, what they want to eat, how, how they want their meat cut, come to Johnson Market and I'll tell you, you're in safe hands here because this market is so personal and so immaculate. Check it out. Not only just vegetables and fabulous meat, there is a bounty of seafood just behind me. Top, top fish and shellfish from all over. Let's check it out. So you've got fabulous prawns, which like, you almost want to eat them here for absolutely raw. And prices, 500 rupees a kilo for tiger prawns, 400 for the kapsi. I think that's a fabulous price for some really, really well priced shellfish. Makkah Cafe is one iconic place which is, I would say, the most recommended place if you want to have these beautiful pies. I call them pies, but they are filled with coconut and also with koya and their mutton samosas are to die for. I don't think I'm ever, ever going to miss this Suleimani chai, which is a very nicely, lightly brewed tea with some lemon sugar and some mint. Definitely worth a try. If you want to know anything what you must eat and drink around Johnson Market, just ask me. Now when we saw that beautiful, really good quality beef, obviously I'm going to get inspired to cook something really nice and very quick. You can make the best steaks, you can make curries, you can make stews. But what I thought, why don't I make a really cooked stir fry? First thing what we do is I'm going to be adding just a touch of sesame oil into this and a touch of soya sauce into this and just giving it a little mix. First what we do is we quickly stir fry the beef. I'm going to take it out, add the vegetables and then I'm going to put the beef into it and then you're going to get a perfectly great stir fried beef. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually take this beef out from the wok and add it later into the pan. A little more oil in the pan, some sliced mushrooms, sliced capsicum or bell peppers. Lightly stir fry this. Some chopped garlic in here, some chopped ginger. Give this a little mix. Next, I'm going to be adding my beef back into the pan. Some soya sauce, a little bit of vinegar. And I've got a nice hot chili garlic sauce, some fresh coriander, little bit of salt, and my beef chili fry is ready. If you want to know any cool stir frying recipes, just ask me. 
टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी मेकिंग अ नाइस ग्रिल प्रॉन्स विद कलोंजी कलोंजी आर एक्चुअली कॉल्ड नाइजेला सीड्स व्हिच कम फ्रॉम द नाइजेला प्लांट दिस प्लांट बेयर्स अ कैप्सूल लाइक फ्रूट एंड इनसाइड द कैप्सूल यू हैव दीस ब्यूटीफुल सीड्स ओवर हियर व्हिच हैव टू बी ड्राई रोस्टेड बिफोर दे आर मेड इनटू मैरिनेड्स मसालास एंड व्हाट एवर यू लाइक सो लेट्स स्टार्ट ऑफ बाय मैरिनेटिंग द प्रॉन्स नाउ for the prawns which i got from the market i have deveined and deshelled the prawns and i've just put a uh, like a bamboo skewer in between so that when we cook these they remain straight for my marination i have a ginger garlic paste which i've minced together i've got some yogurt yani ki dahi a nice big spoon of garam masala a nice big spoon of red chili powder a dash of haldi not too much some kalonji some salt here as well i've got some oil which i'm going to be adding into this as well and i've got some roasted chana powder okay and this gram flour actually makes the marinade stick onto the prawns give this a little mix we are going to marinate the prawns in this mixture if you have some time and you organize yourself you should be marinating this at least 2 hours in advance for maximum satisfaction you could bake these prawns in the oven you can put it under the grill you can make it in a frying pan be my guest so since i have this i will be putting these on the tawa if i'm doing it in my home kitchen i would put it on a really nice hot pan put these onto the grill you don't want to overcook your prawns so just in a few minutes you're going to have a fabulous prawn dish ready for you so prawns almost done on the grill a dash of oil some lemon juice beautiful some fresh coriander 3 to 4 minutes on the grill and your prawns are spot on a little more kalonji on the top to finish it off beautiful restaurant style food in your home very very easy if you want to know more about prawns and about kalonji just ask me Hey guys hope you enjoyed the video if you want to watch more of fresh and local just subscribe to the ask me guru